going guys dippers daily here again today we are bringing you red man straight in a can in a can that's right folks in a can great stuff great stuff it says peel here up in the corner if you can see that or not so we're gonna peel that see what happens fresh or free every time I was looking for a free can or something but guaranteed what can you say Free can if it's not fresh. We'll see if we get a free can or not. Alrighty, uh, here's the uh, actual can cover. Also says fresh or free up on. I'm it. just. I like how it took the warning label off. I kind of like that. I like that a lot. It looks actually. nice. Didn't fresh or free. That. And how about you open it? Alrighty. Put nice looking. So uh, tell me a little bit about where you got this can at and uh, uh, how much did it cost. I was in Texas this weekend, and true prices are slightly less than here in mid-Missouri, so I decided to stock up a little bit, get a wide range of different chews. Got a strong smell. Pretty, uh, pretty good cut on there. Full packed can. I'd like to see that. Um, I know I used to chew Red Man straight for a couple of weeks, and uh, it had a metal top, and this is a plastic top. I don't know if that's just the difference between states or what. I mean, I hate. Well, I'm just not a fan of plastic tops because they have a plasticky taste. Yeah, exactly right. I mean, I hope this is not it, right, but it doesn't. It's got pretty good flavor. The plastic taste isn't as bad as Wolf. But you can still tell. Wolf's awful with that. It's okay to chew, but if it was ten times, it would be ten times better. True. So, uh, we'll give it five or ten minutes. See what the flavor's like. What's going on, back. fellow dippers? We are about seven minutes into the dip of Red Man Long Cut Straight Moist Snuff. I like it. It's pretty much like... It's kind of like Cope Straight. Not as good. Kind of not as good. Any straight to me is good, though. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Staying packed really well. Long cut. It's not fine cut at all. Like T Wolf. You can't really. After a few minutes, that plastic taste goes right away. You can't even tell. But, uh. It is only. It's at least 50% American. Most of it's domestic. So that's not very cool. No. And, uh, I wouldn't say it's. Worth a, almost three bucks a can. Three bucks. Yeah. In Texas, so here it's probably about three twenty maybe. Yeah, def definitely not worth it. It's a little pricey. I don't know. Especially for a plastic top. Yeah. I'd but say if you're gonna chew Red Man, just get Red Man in a bag. Gold blend. Red Man Gold Blend's the best. I mean, I'd rather probably rather pay three dollars for a plastic top Red Man. A couple months ago, I bought a Redman Wintergreen, and it was a tin top for four fifty. It's almost the same price for a bag. So, but I mean, in a bag, I prefer canned chew over bag chew any day, obviously. But with bag chew, you get a whole lot more. Mm -hmm. But I could care less about bag chew. I'd rather not chew at all. So, but we'll probably try to get a bag chew review in. One of these days. Yeah. Have a new guest host. I mean, we got plenty of dippers here. Just got to find the time to get them over to our studio. It's getting busy with school and sports and everything. Probably have LB representing Gold Blend in the future. That's he's a, a shit. He's a fellow dipper. Baseball player. Big time baseball. Remember that name. LB. LB, baby. Well, I'm his agent, so uh, 
I'd probably have to give this shoe a six and a half because it's not bad. It's just the price and that it's a plastic top. Just buzzkill. I'd give Literally. it. A, I'd give it a seven out of ten. Basically, even if it was a ten top, I'd maybe go ahead and give it like a seven and a half or an eight. It's not the best shoe, but it's pretty good. Not really worth the money, but it gets the job done. Well, fellow dippers, that's about it for Red Man Straight Long Cut. Subscribe, like, comment, send us a message, whatever shoe you want us to try, we'll get it. Try it, review it. Thanks for watching.